In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus H2S. This is silver nitrate, and then this H2S, if it's a gas, it's hydrogen sulfide. If it's aqueous, we call it hydrosulfuric acid. We'll deal with that in a minute. Let's first balance the molecular equation, though. This is our molecular equation. I have two hydrogens here and one here. I'm going to put a 2 in front of the HNO3. So I have my two hydrogens now, but I also have two of these nitrate ions and only one here. Put a two over here. That balances the nitrates. And I have two silvers, two silvers. Everything else is balanced. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. Silver nitrate, that's an aqueous solution. Nitrates are very soluble. So AQ for aqueous. And then the hydrogen sulfide, if we call it a gas, that means we won't split it apart in our net ionic equation. If we call it aqueous, we won't split it apart either because it's a weak acid. H2S would be a weak acid. So let's just call it aqueous. Ag2S, sulfides in general are insoluble. And often when you see silver, you're thinking insoluble. So this won't dissolve. These react, we get this Ag2S. It's a solid. In fact, it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Nitric acid is a strong acid. That's going to be aqueous. It'll be a strong electrolyte. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. H2S, that's a weak acid, so it's a weak electrolyte. We won't split it apart. And this will give us the complete ionic equation. Silver is always 1 plus, and the nitrate ion is always 1 minus. Good one to remember. Two silver ions. I won't write the states now. Let's do that later. And then two of these nitrate ions, NO3 minus. So since we have this hydrosulfuric acid because it's aqueous, we're not going to split this apart because it's a weak electrolyte. We only split strong electrolytes. So we'll keep this together in our net ionic equation, H2S. For the products, we don't split solids apart either in net ionic equations. So we have Ag2S, silver sulfide, and then nitric acid, we have Hydrogen group 1, that's 1 plus, and we know the nitrate, the whole thing is 1 minus. Two hydrogen ions, 2H plus, and we have two of these nitrate ions. Let's put it down here. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I have my reactants here and then my products here. I can see in the reactants I have two nitrate ions and in the products. So these are spectator ions. I can cross these out. But everything else is unique. That makes this the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus H2S. I'll clean this up and write the states. So we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus hydrosulfuric acid. You can see this is aqueous here, so we put Aq. If this was a gas, we would just have G here instead. We don't split aqueous solutions or gases up in net ionic equations. You note two charges conserved. We have 2 times 1 plus here, so 2 plus, 2 times 1 plus, so 2 plus here. So both sides, we have 2 plus, charges balanced, and the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.